Good evening, good members. Uh, the title of our district grant is the YMCA Live Strong Cancer Program. And it's specifically targeting cancer survivors who have suffered the debilitating effects of chemotherapy and radiation. And what we've tried to do in partnering, part, our group, our chapter, in partnering with the Y of West Roxbury is to set up a reconditioning program for any cancer survivor of any age in our neighboring communities, although it's open to anybody in Massachusetts, to get them back on their feet. But first, I would like to thank two people in particular, and uh, Ralph Hammond uh, from the Bedford chapter uh, walked us through the whole process. I, I never could have done all of this paperwork and understood everything that was required had it not been for Ralph's uh, several teleconferences and personal phone calls to me to walk me through it. And also to Tom Polito of our Dedham chapter. We actually have two chapters in Dedham, the Sunrise Club and a club that meets at noon. And Tom Polito was the one who came to our uh, noon chapter and said, hey, you guys, there's this wonderful opportunity to apply for a grant. I hope you'll do it. So he also was very instrumental in helping us. Uh, the West Roxbury Wise MCA has been chosen to be one of 10 Ys throughout the country to spearhead this program, so we're very honored to do it. And one of our Rotary members is actually on the staff at West Roxbury, so we have somebody right there uh, daily who can monitor the success of the program and see how these people are coming along after uh, a typical three-month program. The goals in any exercise program is to build muscle mass, muscle strength, increase flexibility, balance endurance, improve functional ability, and reduce the side effects, uh, which is often hair loss and weight loss from chemotherapy and radiation. At the same time, improving energy levels and self-esteem. And survivors also get the opportunity to connect with other survivors who are in the program and to build relationships, of course, with the staff. Uh, some of the outcomes of the program, we have pre and post assessments, that is, weights, vital signs, height is taken of every participant beforehand and afterward. There are individual goals created with Livestrong trainers, and the trainers, incidentally, are actually trained by Livestrong USA, so they have a wealth of knowledge of how to deal with specifically uh, cancer survivors, but in particular, elderly cancer survivors. So each program with each participant is individually uh, set up. Some of the indicators of success uh, we watch increased endurance, flexibility, balance, uh, weight gain. Some of the collaborations we've had with this program, uh, of course the YWCA is part of the greater YWCA of Boston, which first collaborated with Livestrong and then they came to us in West Roxbury to specifically set up this cancer program. But the West Roxbury Y is positioning itself with Dana-Farber and Yale University because they want to look at our research after we've gone through a year's worth of programs and we're already into the second 12-week um, session. So they want to look at our data to, to figure out what they will have to figure out to do to measure the effects of exercise on the recurrence of cancer. Uh, they'll also measure strength gains and compliance of the program. There'll be two trained Y staff members, as I said, trained by Livestrong USA, which will run two classes two times a week for 12-week sessions. There'll be three 12-week sessions every year. And there'll be 15 to 20 participants in each class. Uh, there's a woman by the name of Janice O'Connor, who's the WISE Health and Wellness Fitness Director, who is actually also a national trainer in Livestrong, so she's got a wealth of knowledge in how to present this program to her staff and to carry it through. The staff will teach and demonstrate the utilization of exercise equipment, technique, safety considerations, completing exercise logs so that Dana-Farber and Yale can look at that information and take it from there. 
uh, but specifically, they're targeting improving the quality of life for ca cancer survivors. And the best part of it is that it's at no cost at all to the participants. No cost, and of course, we're giving hope to all of these people. Uh, this program is available to cancer survivors in all neighboring communities, not just West Roxbury, as I said. Uh, but most importantly, I'm sure that there's probably everybody in this room who knows somebody, a friend, a relative, a family member who has gone through cancer um, treatment and knows the ravages of radiation and chemotherapy. I know that very well myself. My mother is a colon cancer survivor, and I have just signed her up for this program. Um, as far as fundraising for the program, we have uh, a function every year called Taste Dedham, which is held on Mosley's on the Charles, and we get about 50 uh, good caterers and the best restaurants in and around the Dedham area to donate food and their time and sell tickets for $30 a piece, and some of that money gets funneled into the $1,500, which we had to come up with towards the district grant. And uh, week that's part of it. And weekly, we also have happy dollars. Uh, anybody who wants to contribute, um, in addition to that, uh, at the end of the week, we always mention that in uh, a meeting before we close. And um, we've been very successful in raising our share of the money to do that. So we're very grateful for Rotary, Rotary for uh, getting our application in so quickly and having it approved. Thank you.